Hello and welcome, my Cancer friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. This is going to be a group reading for my Cancer friends. This is a follow-up reading from a spread I completed in September, where I celebrated service dogs, in particular guide dogs. I've been drawn to complete a more in-depth reading for my Zodiac friends in what they're not seeing. I'm going to look at what's right in front of you in both your third and your visual eyes and ways that we can resolve some of these seeing problems. The deck that I'm using for this reading is the Tarot of the Hidden Realm and then I'll end off the session with an Oracle Blessing from the Oracle of the Shapeshifters. Like always, I have links below to both these gorgeous decks so should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. Alright my Cancer friends, let's see what the cards have to say today. I didn't even get the question out. And they hit the floor. What is it that you're not seeing? The first jumper was the Knight of Cups. Knights are that youthful energy, that go big or go home, no fear energy. Cups are about that intuition and emotion. The Knight of Cups talks about that inability to connect in or see that energy on how to go forward with your intuition. When I was asking the cards um, what it is my Cancer friends are not able to see, I've got a number of jumpers. So I'm just going to show you the jumpers and we'll talk about how they connect in with the Knight here. So we have the Four of Wands. Fours are a foundational, stable number. Wands are about that passion and inner fire that's added to the Knights. Then we have the Three of Swords. Threes are about expression and growth. Swords are about truth and knowledge. And finally, the last jumper is the Fairy Castellian. She's the seventh card in the Major Arcana. And in other decks, it's called the Chariot. This card talks about your inner strength. So when you're looking at what it is you're not seeing, my Cancer friends, apparently it's a lot. That energy and ability that you have to connect in with your intuition, you're not fully seeing that potential, what it is you can do. Because you've got that stability of the wands, next to it you're looking at how you're not able to see not only the community that's going to be supporting you, you're not accessing them as you should because they're going to add more stability in embracing that knight. The Three of Swords talks about overcoming those emotions that we've attached to situations that have happened. The swords don't hold emotion. We do. We've attached it to those swords and it's about pulling those emotions away and taking that knowledge. That's another piece that we're missing is those knowledge piece. We're wrapped up in that hurt piece where that's not where your emotion and intuition should be focused. Overall, we're really missing the chariot or the fairy stallion on using that willpower. We've got willpower here twice to overcome and move ourselves forward. The chariot is very much about having that ability that power to be able to overcome any situation victoriously. So we're kind of really missing that bigger picture. It's really about that connection into our intuition so that we can start to really move ourselves forward. The knight and the fairy stallion are two very big pieces that we're missing and we really need to connect into them because they're really going to help us not only see clearer However, find more meaning and see the meaning and connect into it more. We've got the Four of Wands, that celebratory, really happy card next to the Three of Swords, which is more of that, those feelings that are really, really kind of overwhelming you right now. And especially when your ego gets involved because your ego will start pulling and pushing the Three of Swords right into your face so that you are not able to move forward. So let's look at the major obstacle in kind of tackling and, and looking at this next adventure, if you will. Hmm. 
And that's the blasted beach. Now it's not beach in the sunny holiday beach, this is in, as in the tree. This is the 16th card in the Major Arcana, and it's also known as the Tower. That major obstacle for you is that fear of change. And the universe is one step away from kicking you in the hiney in a cosmic way. Right now, it's turned sideways. Change is inevitable. This piece can't be ignored for too much longer before something has to shift and something will give. There's only so much that the universe will allow us to wait and pressure that it will hold until we literally have that explosion. So your, what's right in front of you that your eyes aren't seeing is big for you. Um, <laughs> got more jumpers. There's a lot that the cards really want to tell you, my Cancer friends. Because the next question, and my cards know it, is what is in front of your third eye that you're missing? The first one is Justice. Justice is the 11th card in the Major Arcana. It talks about truth and balance. It only had one mate that came out with it, and that's the Queen of Cups. There's only one other card that is more intuitive than the Queen of Cups, and that's the High Priestess. This is very much connected into your intuition and your intuitional creativity, which is very much connected into your night. This is not the first time I've seen your third eye and your eyes missing similar topics. This is about connecting into your intuition and willpower and being able to move yourself forward. This is connecting into your intuition and balancing your life out. The two of them are very, very connected. So let's look at what is crossing or challenging your ability to connect in to the Queen of Cups and to Justice and start to balance that creativity, that intuitional creativity and your intuition. And that's the Ace of Wands. Aces are a gift. Wands are about that passion, that inner drive. It's about focusing in and hyper-focusing in on that passion. It's fantastic that you fo focus in on the passion, however we're hyper-focusing. It's about bringing it back. Again, this is about that balance piece. We don't have balance right now. So to cr we need to kind of shift where we're focusing so that we can really connect into our intuition and start to balance it. Because our intuition knows exactly what we need to do. When we follow that gut instinct, which we're seeing here in the fairy stallion, we're really gonna find that balance piece. And it's going to be a balance piece that's going to be in the right direction for you. Justice is all about that right and wrong and making sure those choices are going to be in your best interest. So let's look at how we go forward. This is all great and good to have this mapped out, but what do we do now? And let's look at that next piece. What is it that my Gemini friends can do to kind of support themselves and, and work with what they're missing? Well, this is pretty explanatory. The 13th card in the Major Arcana, and that's death. Like I said here, there's only so much the universe is going to let you get away with before change is inevitable. We have to have that shift. This needs to be addressed, Cancer, because it's just going to compound between the, we have the, the tower and death. We are looking at a change, and a change that is, is going to be very life-altering for you. You've got two major arcanas in both sites. Now we do have the 13th card in the major arcana, death. We also have a queen up here. Queens are the 13th card in the minor arcana. In angel messages, when you're looking at double 13s, the angel messages that you need to calm your mind and follow your intuition. And that's exactly what this is saying. The angels are very much confirming what these cards are saying to you. So what can we do? Another big jumper. Although we just have one jumper. What can we do 
to support death. And that's the Queen of Swords. She's the second queen on the table. And this queen talks about knowledge. Whereas the Queen of Cups talks about that emotion, intuition. This is about knowledge. Now queens are that nurturing feminine energy. Do not get me wrong when I say nurturing and feminine. I do not mean weak. Actually, when you're looking at the swords, you're looking at a woman who has um, the sword of truth and knowledge. She's not one lady you want to mess with. She has learned all her knowledge through life experience. So how we're going to be able to support death and really kind of helping us let go and release things that are not working for us so that there's space for this is embracing those past life experiences, that knowledge that we've gained, those skills and tools, and really kind of going forward and using, okay, we have two swords of truth and knowledge here. That sword, is this really what I need to do? Really checking into yourself and really allowing your abilities to kind of follow that gut instinct. Again, with the third queen, it is about calming ourselves and following those intuitional pieces because that's what's going to help get you over these bumps because they're going to be a little bit painful, especially when you have the tower combined with death. So what's our first step? Let's look at that, my cancer friends. And that's the seven of pentacles. Sevens are a struggle card, however, usually victorious. Pentacles are about that growth and abundance. When we're looking at the Seven of Pentacles, you're looking at that perseverance piece. In the original Rider Waite, the Seven of Pentacles is a man leaning on a staff looking admiringly at a, a, a bush of pentacles. It talks about that hard work, and that's that next piece is that we're gonna to have to get our hands dirty and we're gonna to have to really put some effort into this. The more work and changes that we make to making this work for us and really embracing these pieces that we know are right in front of us, the less work death will have to do and the less the tower or blasted beach will negatively impact us and really cause those pains, those pains that we connect in with the Three of Swords. So interestingly enough, we have three thirteens. We've got the queen, we've got a queen, and we have death. When you're looking at multiple threes, you're looking at something close to your heart that needs to be expressed, which is very true here. This is close to your heart. This is your intuition. This is part of you. This is a very integral part of you that is not being tapped into and really accessed enough. So let's look at your shadow card. What does your shadow self want to say? And that's the first card in the Major Arcana, the Magician. And the Magician talks about those skills and abilities. You've got the ability here. We all have intuition. We all have the ability to tap into it. It's trusting in ourselves and really allowing those skills to flourish. Like any other skill, it needs that nurturing and time. You need the ability to practice and connect in with it. All right, let's look at a blessing. What blessing do we have for my cancer friends and the challenges that they face for their sight? That's butterflies in gloom. After sadness, happiness and hope returns. And that's very much applicable here. There may be some sadness. However, that hope and happiness, that love, that universal energy will return, especially when you're really connecting in and drawing that universal energy down for yourself. For those who wish, you can pause the video here and reflect on the cards. This is a group reading. However, these cards were drawn especially for my cancer friends. What further information do the cards have for you? Like I said, this is a group reading. If you're looking for a more personal or specific topic, you can follow the link below and schedule a private reading with myself. For those who are interested, I will be running online introductory classes in the next couple of months. The first class is on November 11th. I'll be running my Introduction to Archangels and Angels class. 
Then on December 9th, I'll be running my Introductions to Connecting or Channeling class. If you're interested in either or both these classes, you can find more information out and register for both of these classes on my website. I provided a helpful link below that'll take you straight to my classes page. I hope that you found this video helpful and that you're able to gain more direction and insight into what it is you're missing and how you can go forward with it. I want to thank you again for spending time with me today and watching my video. I will continue to create fun and exciting videos for my Zodiac friends. If you have any suggestions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. I'm always up for feedback from my friends. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. As you can see here, you never know where I'm going to go next, so I hate for you to miss a video. Also, if you like this video and want to support me making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of my tiers, the perks are private readings with myself. I provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my cancer friends.